I've always had a fascination with nature and really the conservation side of nature. Right now, there, there is a lot going on. I think there's a growing awareness of the values of biodiversity and the importance of conserving and monitoring what we have. The learning environment here is awesome because we have our Ecos Club where we get really involved in the community. We have community members coming out and volunteering, like we have creek cleanup today and everything. With the program that's offered here, there's a lot of hands-on experience and that's the difference. It translates really well to being usable as in terms of job skills. We get out in the field a lot. You know, it's nice for those who like to get hands-on in the environment. On the campus, we do have this nature area out here and we do a lot of on-campus labs. Uh, but really, especially with the classes I teach, most of our big facility is the great outdoors. So um, I usually take 25 or so trips every semester, sometimes more, and some of those are overnight. And we're really out exploring all over the state, sometimes even out of the state. Sometimes it can be very early in the morning. <laughs> or sometimes they can be two or three day field trips, but it's well worth it and we've always had an amazing time. Jen's field trips are fantastic. We end up in different environments, gone to Mount Diablo, and we've basically observed areas in Mount Diablo and, and the different ecology and dynamics there. We have classes in sustainability and conservation, and so that thread takes students through courses like um, environmental restoration, where they actually learn um, current practices in restoration and also the theory um, behind restoration ecology. You get to work with a lot of grassroots projects. Um, even coming out here to the creek, we got to do restoration here. We have a water resources class. And then we have courses that are more focused towards wildlife and fisheries. And then we have um, several courses that are really focused towards botanical sciences. So students um, take the forest environment, or a native California trees and shrubs class, or California wildflowers. We actually just had a wonderful field trip um, up at Donner Pass. It was really wonderful. We got to see a whole bunch of different species of trees, and then we get to learn their scientific names and the, kind of their history. We have interns working with California Native Plant Society. We've got interns working with the Bureau of Land Management, interns working with uh, FEON Nature Center, the American River Natural History Association, interns working through DWR and with uh, Sacramento Creeks Council. It's very interactive. You can talk to the professors just like, you know, they're one of your friends, they're easy to approach. It really opens up your eyes to a lot of things. I think the hands-on experience that they're putting out there and not just sitting in a classroom and kind of you know going through lecture after lecture is the best selling feature. The people are great and the instructors are fantastic. Whether it's educating future generations about the care of the planet, understanding the ecosystems, it's just an inspiring thing.